Hey everyone, greetings from Matemwe Beach on Ungunja Island, also known as Zanzibar. I'm a little more cleaned up, a little less sweaty uh, than I usually am or often am in these videos because I am all showered and ready to go out for dinner with uh, my family. And uh, before we go, I just wanted to share with you some of the interesting features of travel in a place like Tanzania. Uh, one of the things that is interesting about travel to a foreign place is the currency. and uh, I've got a bunch of bills here in the local currency, the Tanzanian shilling. You can see that it's quite colorful. Uh, I really like that about the, 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 the money, it's so colorful. Um, it's illustrated like a lot of, of money around the world is with important, uh, important figures. This is um, Walimu uh, Julius Nyerere, this means teacher, his, his nickname was teacher. Uh, and so he, uh, he was the first president of Tanzania, so he's on the thousand shilling note. And then there are important buildings or important symbols of Tanzania on other notes. Here's the uh, 2,000 shilling note. It's got a lion on it and a, another important building. And then similarly, the 5,000 shilling note has the rhinoceros, an important part of Tanzania, although they're very dangerously threatened in Tanzania. and some of Tanzania's industry there. So having the money, and there's a, by the way, there's a watermark in, in each one. If you look through uh, the bill, you'll see a watermark of the money. Uh, in, in each case, it's actually a, it's a picture of, um, of uh, Nyerere, the, uh, the first president in, in each watermark. Um, but what I wanted to share with you on the way out to dinner here is that uh, one of the problems that tourists face is um, a lot of the places where we travel and we stay are fairly expensive compared to the way the locals live and a, a big commentary on that is this right here. So um, what this looks like is a pretty massive stack of cash. This is um, what I got when I went to the ATM and I took out the maximum available withdrawal. Um, it is 600,000 Tanzanian shillings and that might seem like a lot of money because it's more than half a million shillings. Uh, but a couple comments about that when I look at the size of this stack It's not actually that much money and the reason is because of the exchange rate So like a lot of other developing countries Tanzania's central bank has had a really hard time combating inflation and that is when the value of the currency uh, Becomes less and less every year and so in Tanzania uh, It used to be that a shilling was much closer to a dollar than today today 10,000 shillings in Tanzanian currency is worth about four dollars US and so what looks like a really impressive stack of money or sounds impressive when it's more than half a million shillings isn't actually that much money compared to say the earnings of a, even a low-income American so here's the challenge that we face as tourists in this economy is uh, a lot of things are priced in tourist dollars so for instance if you want to rent a um, air-conditioned van to travel around with a large group like we have um, it's around $100 a day US and so that you know $100 doesn't sound like a terrible rental price especially when it comes to the driver but when you have to pay for it with shillings if this is $4 and this is the largest bill they have that's a lot of shillings the way that some tourist uh, operations uh, deal with that is they just price everything in dollars and that way inflation can not affect the, the value dollars are valued anyway if they have an international account they can just deposit the dollars without any currency transactions um, but for tourists like me who like to travel with the local currency, it represents a real challenge because they have to carry stacks and stacks of this money around because they don't make a 50,000 or 100,000 shilling note. They make, this is the biggest note. So imagine if you had to travel around the United States and the biggest bill you could carry was a $5 bill. Uh, you have to have a pretty fat stack of, of $5 bills to be able to transact a lot of uh, business. And so um, that's just a little, there's an elephant on it, by the way. And then on the other side, there is a an image of um, some important uh, buildings in Dar es Salaam in the central city. I want to make sure I have that right. That actually might be in Dodoma. No, I think it's Dar es Salaam. Anyway, don't quote me on that. Um, more important buildings in Tanzania. Anyway, I thought you'd be uh, interested in seeing that because uh, the first time I had to do this kind of transaction, it was I was actually traveling in Zimbabwe, and in Zimbabwe I had the same problem where I took uh, what I thought would be a modest amount of money, like a, a couple hundred dollars out, because I had to travel and I had to use the dollars to buy a lot of stuff, lodging and gas and everything else, uh, and then you end up getting just this ridiculous uh, stack of cash, uh, seemingly ridiculous stack of cash. Uh, but right now, the with the current exchange rate, about 2,300 shillings to one dollar, 
that massive stack you just saw, that 600,000 shilling stack, uh, works out to about 241 US dollars. So it's, it's a good amount of money, but it's not a, an incredible amount of money considering that it's gonna be enough for me to take care of most of my expenses uh, for food and excursions and a few um, odds and ends for about five or six days with a family. So uh, we've paid for lodging up front already, so that, that doesn't have to figure into it. But uh, $240 can go a long ways in Tanzania, but it also takes a big stack of shillings to make that um, $240. That's all for now. Thought you'd enjoy seeing that, and uh, I'll talk to you all later. Bye.